that's a fruit. Okay, I literally had to double check to make sure that black currant was a fruit, and it is, so. Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome, my name is Lydia. And if you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. As you guys saw in the title of this video, today I'm going to be reviewing Vince Camuto Illuminaire and Vince Camuto Illuminaire Intense. So if you guys want to see this review, go ahead and stay tuned. And also, I know this is super random, but are you guys liking this butterfly situation that I have going on right now? Because like in real life, it's super ironic because I'm terrified of butterflies, but I love butterfly accessories. So that's really weird. And this is what the packaging looks like. I did purchase this from Macy's and it came in like a double pack of the miniatures but these miniatures they actually have a sprayer on them which is super cool. So this is what the package looks like. And as you guys see the Eau de Parfum Intense is a little darker than the original and this was kind of like a good price too. I got it for $25 so if you're trying to get somebody a little gift that's cute and you don't want to spend a ton of coin but you still want to get them something nice this is a perfect idea and I was surprised that it was this cheap because the original like when it first came out they only had one size and it was $90 and I was just like eh. I smelled it when it first came out and I really wanted to try it but I didn't think it was worth spending $90 at the time but these are some very very nice perfumes so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the actual bottles look like. And I still just cannot get over the packaging. It is super cute. So first I'm gonna start off with the original Vince Camuto Illuminaire. And this is what the bottle looks like. So that is what the bottle looks like up close. And as you guys saw, it does have a little sprayer, which is just amazing. Let's go ahead and look at the notes for this fragrance. So for the original, the notes are plum blossom, bergamot, magnolia, amber, and musk. And like it's been a while since I've smelled this, so it's kind of like smelling it for the first time all over again. So let's go ahead and see what it smells like. Okay, so this one is definitely more floral in my opinion. I actually don't even remember it being this floral. Um, it does have a hint of fruitiness to it, so I actually smell like a sweetness, almost like a fruit, but from the notes that I saw, there aren't any fruits in this. But it does smell very, very nice. It is florally, so if you're into floral scents, I think this is definitely a good option. I guess it's more of like a plumminess that I'm getting, but it does smell very, very nice, like a nice fruity floral type scent. I mean, it kind of smells just as I remember it but it's a very, very nice fragrance. It's not that unique in my opinion, um, but it is still a very beautiful scent. Um, I don't know if this is a fan favorite or if a lot of people wear this. So if you did pick this up, you might be the only person wearing it and it might be very unique for you. But it is a very, very nice perfume. This, in my opinion, is great for the spring and summer months. You might even be able to work it in the fall or if you're one of those people like me, just wear it year-round and just don't care. But this is very, very nice. So now let's go ahead and get into the Vince Camuto Illuminaire Eau de Parfum Intense. And this is what the bottle looks like up close. So as you guys saw, the liquid in this perfume is a little darker than the original, so I guess that's how you can tell the difference between the two. But other than that, the bottles are pretty much the same. The original one, the top is like a rose gold type color, and this is more of a yellow gold as well. So I think that is really cool that there's more differences aside from the color. So this one I have not smelled ever, so I'm just assuming it would be a little more intense. But let's go ahead and look at the notes of this fragrance first. So for this fragrance, the notes are Plum Blossom, Black Currant, Midnight Orchid, and for the base there is Sandalwood, 
creamy musk and smooth vanilla. So I really think that the notes, at least the base notes for this fragrance are what makes it different from the original, um, as well as the black currant. So there is more of a fruitier note in there as well. Yeah, that's a fruit. Okay, I literally had to double check to make sure that black currant was a fruit, and it is. Now, so I know it has that fruity note in it, so I think that's really, really cool. So let me go ahead and get one of my little testers, and let's see what this smells like. From just smelling it from the cap, it smells really similar to the original. Okay. I actually like the intense one a little bit more. Um, it is still very florally. But because of the black currant and the vanilla and the sandalwoodiness, because I love sandalwood, anything that has sandalwood in it, I just fall in love immediately. You can definitely smell that. You do get a warm note. You kind of can't really tell that it's vanilla, but it's definitely something warm and creamy. And then you have the fruitiness of the black currant as well. Like it really smells good, almost like a nice candy or something. I kind of know what it smells like. You know, like blue raspberry candy? It doesn't smell artificial at all, but it kind of has that smell like a blue raspberry flavored candy and with a creaminess to it. And I think it's because of the black currant that's giving it that fruity note, but it also has that creaminess and it just smells absolutely amazing. I didn't think I was gonna like it that much and I almost didn't think there was gonna be too big of a difference between the original and the intense version. In my opinion, like, the intense version is definitely my favorite and definitely worth purchasing a full-size bottle. But if this is your first time trying either one of these perfumes, I definitely recommend you guys pick up the little set. And like I said before, it was like $25 at Macy's, which was crazy. I didn't even know they had those little sets. And it's really a good deal because you're not getting those little dab bottles. You're actually getting a nice amount of perfume in these bottles and you actually have the luxury of having a sprayer with it as well. And they are so cute. Like this is literally the perfect gift for somebody. Now I did purchase this like a couple months ago. So if I can find the link to it, I am gonna have it in the description box below. So make sure you guys look out for that. And in my opinion, these both are very nice summer fragrances, but I'm leaning a bit more towards the intense version. This is just more my style. But this, the original one is still an amazing floral scent. You really don't don't get any fruitiness in it at all but with the intense version like this is really nice it's like the perfect balance you get the nice sweetness of the fruit but it's not too sweet you get the nice florals that make it a little bit more mature and then you have the creamy notes that just bring both of those together perfectly so this is definitely going to be my favorite but I am gonna have this on standby as well. So guys, that was my review of Vince Camuto Illuminaire, the original as well as the Eau de Parfum Intense. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope to see all of you guys in my next one. Bye.